Hey there everyone and welcome to the video. So I apologize if I sound kind of dead, it's 2am right now, I can't sleep and that's why this video exists. So I've had a growing number of concerns in my comments section and these are completely fair concerns about the future of Saints Row concerning Gearbox now because obviously when Gearbox now has merged with Volition and basically they're going to be publishing Volition's games and basically be in charge of it instead of Deep Silver, a lot of people are worried about things like the DLC not coming out for the Saints Row reboot, and a lot of people are worried about the Saints Row 2 patch, because obviously that's a huge thing. So what I want to say about this is, don't worry, okay, because a lot of these concerns are nothing more than concerns. So we'll start off with a Saints Row 2 patch. So this should be relatively unaffected completely, unless someone makes an issue out of it, which I don't see happening. So, the Saints Row 2 patch is basically a passion project that's being worked on the side of any of a main game development as a sort of tribute to Mike. Um, it's not really going to be affected and it's just going to be something that the Volition employees themselves, a small group of them, work on in their spare time. And Gearbox, I doubt, will have much say over this. This is what they are working on in their spare time. The only way that it could be affected by this merge is if Gearbox wanted to make an issue out of it, which I don't see happening judging by just the way everything has been and kind of, you know, the history behind this patch. I don't see a, I don't see Gearbox going in and making that ob objective decision, especially with A, the reception of the reboot. People are going to want um, something slightly more OG, quote-unquote, related to release, so I, I just don't see them doing that for that reason. But on top of that, if you could even imagine the backlash they would get if they stopped a patch that's been in the works for how long under completely different publishers the second they got ownership of Saints Row. I don't see it happening and I don't think they would want that backlash. So by my reckoning really, I, I think that the Saints Row 2 patch will be relatively unaffected. When we're going to be getting it, I don't know and I know there's a lot of questions about that but I honestly just don't have any information on it. I know just as much as you guys do but I know that they're still working on it. Um, and, and that's about it really. So Gearbox that merged with Deep Silver and everything has changed over there. It, it shouldn't affect the Saints Row 2 patch basically. Another concern I've heard quite a lot about is the DLC like I said and people are really worried that the DLC will not be coming out for Saints Row the reboot and I understand but what I want to say is that Deep Silver still owns the IP for Saints Row until Saints Row's next title under Gearbox is released. Now that means any product, so that could be, you know, a remaster, a remake, or a brand new game. It could be, hell, I don't know, it might even count as like a DLC, I, I don't fully understand. But basically, until Gearbox puts out something under the Saints Row IP, Deep Silver has complete control, which is why they're still in charge of marketing, they're still in charge of um, all the socials and the discords and stuff. You're not really going to be having any issues with that, so to speak. So, all development of current DLCs will go on as planned because Deep Silver is still in charge. And until Deep Silver gets pulled away, Gearbox, I don't believe, will have too much say over um, what happens with Saints Row. I, I may be wrong, but from what I've heard, the DLC is not slowing down and it should be coming 2023, as um, has been rumoured and planned. So, no need to worry there. I do know a lot of people were kind of concerned about that, and I understand why. When you hear that they're going to be changing publishers, you honestly never know what to expect, but just understand they are still under the same embracer, they're all going to be aiming for a similar goal, the only difference is Gearbox might have more resources. So I doubt that they're going to be going for a completely different vision, and talking to people around the Volition Studio, everyone seems to be relatively happy with this merge. So, there's not really any bad news yet, and I've heard zero plans of anything being cancelled and moved. And quite frankly, Deep Silver should still be in charge of Saints Row until the next game is out. So I, I don't think there's too much to worry about, truthfully. I don't think there's that much of um, a big issue. And I just wanted to say, like, if you're worried about the patch, or you're worried about the DLC being stopped, that, that shouldn't be affected by this. As, again, Gearbox, first of all, won't have any control until they put out their own Saints Row title. So that will be fine for the DLC, because the DLC is on this current Saints Row title. But on top of that, um, Gearbox, I doubt they're going to interfere with the patch, purely based on you know the history surrounding the patch, the way the patch is being done, and the backlash they would get if they decided to stop it. So, yeah, I mean, it's relatively good news I bring, and obviously it's all somewhat speculation, but I can at least back up my speculation with points I think are valid, so... Let me know what you think. Do you think um, this Gearbox movie is really going to change stuff? I honestly don't. And I don't think you should be too worried about stuff like the patches and DLCs not coming out. 
But hey, each to their own, and I don't know. Maybe we should. Maybe it's all going to come crashing down, but I, I honestly just don't think it will. I don't think Gearbox is really going to change a great deal about what Saints Row is, and, and they're going to leave a, a bit up to volition. If anything, it just means they might have a bigger budget to work with, which I think would be for the benefit of Saints Row indefinitely. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video kind of reassured you on both the patch and the DLC, and I will see you all later. Bye.